Hello students, in this video we are going to discuss about the new chapter data structures. Objectives to understand the concept of data structure, to understand the type of data structure, to understand the operations on different data structure, the implementation of different data structures. What is data structure? Data structure is a specialized format for organizing and storing data. Basically, to organize and storing a data, we call it as data structure. Okay, organization and storing a data in the computer memory, we call it as data structure. For example, if you have a data student name, Akash of string type and age 16 of integer. We can now organize this data as a record like a student record and store it in a file as a data structure. So what we have here? Data student name and student age. Right? But the data types of those data are different. One is string type data type another is integer type data type so organizing those different data types as a record we call it as a data structure data representation computer memory is used to store the data which is required for processing this is known as data representation if we create a data or organize a data structure, we use to store that data in a computer memory, right? So, that process we call it as a data representation. Our data may be a same type or of different type. So, data structure provide efficient way of combining these different type of data type and process a data so this we call as data representation classification of data structure there are two types of data structure primitive data structure and non primitive data structure in the primitive data structure we have four types those are integer float character and pointer these are primitive data structure and in the non primitive data structure we have three types arrays lists and files these are three types of non primitive data structure in the arrays we have three types one dimensional array two dimensional array and multi dimensional array in the lists we have again two types linear data structure and non-linear data structure in the linear data structure there are stacks queues and linked lists and in the non-linear data structure we have graphs and trees okay this is about classification of data structure first is primitive data structure data structure that are directly operated upon the machine level instructions are known as primitive data structures that means here the data types are directly operated on the instructions so we call it as primitive data structures okay predefined way of storing data by the system okay we can organize the data or define the data of our own we call it as primitive data structures there are four types integers float character data and pointers we have some operations on primitive data structures that is create it is used to create a new data structure create operation used to create a new data structure okay if you want to create a data structure create operation we have to use this operation 
reserves memory for the program elements okay when we create a data structure then that operation reserves a memory for the program elements okay it may be carried out at a compile time and run time example for create operation is int n is equal to 15 okay if you create n is equal to 15 of integer type then memory space to be create for n okay next is select operation this operation is used by programmers to access the data within the data structure okay if we create a data using create operation for example if we create x as a data in the with create operation then the select operation is used by the programmer to access that data within the data structure only okay we use select operation for that this operation updates or alters the data in cpp we can use c in x as a select operation okay x is the defined data third is update it is used to change the data of a data structure if we create a data we can change that data using update operation example if n int n is equal to 20 here 20 is assigned for n right n is equal to 20 if we assign n is equal to 40 then the value of n is 40 now right because 20 is automatically replaced by 40 when we assign n is equal to 40 that we call as update and the last fourth one is destroy operation this operation is used to remove or destroy the data structure from the memory if we create a data structure or a data if you want to delete or remove the data we have to use destroy data operation next is non primitive data structure the data structures that are derived from the primitive data structures are called as non primitive data structures these data structures are derived from the primitive data structures these data structures are used to store the group of values okay in the data structures we have a group of values for those group of values we have to use the primi non primitive data structures those are arrays lists and files using this we can store the group of values in the data structure operations on non primitive data structures traversing processing of accessing each element exactly once to perform some operation is called traversing operation okay using this operation we can access an element exactly once to perform a some operation for that we can use traversing operation okay insertion the process of adding a new element into the given collection of data elements is called insertion that means if we have a data structure called a student record in that we have student name student age right if you want to add another data called student marks then we have to use insertion operation to add a new data to the data collection third is deletion the process of removing an existing data element from the given collection of data elements is called deletion that means if we have a 
data structure student record we have student name student age and we had student marks using insertion operation right if you want to delete this student marks data we have to use this deletion operation to delete this student mark data okay if you want to delete some data from the data structure we want to, we have to use deletion operation and fourth is searching the process of finding location of a data element in the given collection of a data element is called as searching we have a data structure with some data okay if you want to find some particular data in the data structure we have to use searching operation fifth is sorting the process of arrangement of elements in ascending or descending order is called sorting that means we have a data structure in the random manner okay student name student age marks roll number in the random ma manner if we want to do that in the particular order ascending or descending order we have to use the sorting operation sixth is merging the process of combining the elements of two structure to form a single structure we call as merging that means we have two data structures okay one is student record another another one is something college record okay if you want to add to these two data structure into a single data structure we use merging operation okay to combine the two data structure to perform a single structure we use merging operation in the next video we will discuss about the explanation of primitive data structures integer